guys, in today's video, we're going to be comparing a fake Pokemon card 10 versus a real Pokemon card 10. Let's get into it, shall we? What's good, everybody? Darkle here, back at it again with another video. And in today's video, ladies and gentlemen, let's just get straight into business, my guy. Check this out. We have a Paldean Fates tin with the Migos. You know, we got three of the Migos right there for 10 bones, everybody. Check that out. $10 for two packs a sticker, and then like a Pokédex entry card of Flamigo, you feel me? And that's what you get for 10 bones, you feel me? So we got ourselves the tin, and we're gonna be putting this up against a very crazy looking tin, bro. Check this out, check this out. Bro. We got ourselves a Paradox Rift tin, and it just screams bootleg, bro, because of the wrapping. That you only see, like, on booster boxes, bro. Not on tins, you feel me? So we got Scarlet and Violet, Paradox Rift. We got Pikachu. We got Lycanroc, a Pokeball. It's official. It's official, guys. So this might be the real tin. And this right here might be the fake one, you feel me? I might be onto something. But, guys, that's not all because you get an additional promo card in this tin check this out check this out boom everybody we get a Mewtwo ex promo card y'all that's honestly kind of crazy i'm not gonna lie that's honestly kind of crazy so we're gonna be battling it out with these tins who do y'all got let me know in the comments who is going to win this battle the real tin or the fake tin, leave your guesses in the comments, but include the hashtag Ghoul Army, and don't forget to like the video, subscribe. Let's go ahead and start with the fake tin, because I'm honestly curious what's inside here. What kind of cards are inside? Obviously, it looks like we got Scarlet and Violet, but is that what's inside as well? Let's see, guys. Let's see. Here we go. Here we go. Let's open this up. Come on. I can't. I can't. I can't. I need to hit the gym. I need to call Machamp. There we go, guys. I got it opened, and dang, that's vibrant. Hold up. Hold up. What is that? Oh, my gosh. That looks so bad, bro. Look at that. Yo. I mean, it is from Scarlet and Violet. Look at this card, bro. Let's do it. Limbo. Let's do Limbo. 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 <laughs> It looks like my boy is not recovering from Limbo. We got to stop playing Limbo. Did the back get damaged? Obviously, because it's fake. You feel me? So we got the Mewtwo. Let's see what's inside this tin. We got Pikachu looking all fierce. Here we go. Okay, we got cards. I was honestly expecting packs, but we got cards instead, ladies and gentlemen. We got cards instead. Here we go. Here we go. How many cards? I'm not sure. This is honestly pretty cool for, like, storage, bro. I might store, like, all my coins in here or something like that, bro. But we got the fake tin right there. Here we go. We got cards. That <laughs> we got ultras. We got ultras, guys. Look at this. We got the Golisopod EX, bro, with no type of shine on the card. Let's take a look at it. Yo, that is so bad, bro. Look at that. There is no shine on this EX card. This is an error card, guys. I don't know. It looks like this fake tin might win with this error card. Here we go. Here we go, guys. Here we go. We got ourselves one EX card. Well, two, because the Mewtwo is not a promo. It is a real EX card. You feel me? Here we go. Let's put it down here. Let's put it down here. We got another EX. Another EX of Roaring Moon, ladies and gentlemen. Are these all Paradox Rift cards, bro? Hold up. We might have just pulled every single Paradox Rift Ultra Rare in today's episode, bro. Yo. We might have done it. We might. Okay, okay. It ended right here, bro. It ended right here. We got the Porygon Z. Nope, it did not end because we got another one ladies and gentlemen another what another one we got iron hands bro iron valiant we got iron bundle okay it looks like all the ultra rares and all the hollows 
are in this tin. Is this a hollow? I'm pretty sure it is, bro. Is a strike a hollow? No, it's an uncommon. Okay, okay. I might... Oh, okay! I don't know. I was gonna say I might have been wrong with every ultra rare, but we're back with the ultras, bro. We're back with the ultras, ladies. Ooh, that's fire. That is fire fire we got the delicious string cheese everybody i'm about to eat this pokemon up hold up hold up that came out wrong but y'all know what i mean my boy looks like string cheese and i'm hungry you feel me i'm hungry Ooh. a lot of these cards i personally haven't pulled so that's why they actually look really dope bro because it's like i have them in my hand but then I don't, you feel me? That's the only good part. Oh my gosh. That's the only good part about these bootleg products because they make you feel like you have it in your hands even though you don't because this card is like the uh, one of the all-time chase cards from Paradox Rift, bro. Iron Hands. Iron Moth Art Rare. I actually pulled this one, so I know what's it like holding this one in my hands, you feel me? But guys, guys, we're gonna do a card test right now, y'all. Iron Hands, oh, I'm sorry. Look at that, guys. That was so easy to rip because there's no hollow pattern on the card. No ink in between the card itself. 100% fake, bro. 100%. We got Iron Moth. We got Eveltal. Yo, every single banger from Paradox Rift. Is there the Roaring Moon SIR in here? Please be in here. We got another Mewtwo. Okay, we got some sort of hollow in the end, guys. Here we go. Where's that Roaring Moon? Where is it? We got Iron. Oh, nope. It's not right there. Come on. Where is it? Hold up. I don't want to spoil the last card. Is this the hollow? I don't know. I don't know. Yes, it is. We got the Altaria EX. Yo, and the oh, we got double hollows, bro. Aegis slash EX. But look at that. That's actually not that bad looking. I'm not going to lie. It's not that bad. But we got no Roaring Moon. So we almost got every single Ultra Rare from Paradox Rift, guys. But not quite. Not quite. You feel me? This is just the full art, guys. I'm talking about the SIR. You feel me? I'll put it on the screen in case you guys don't know how it looks. But guys, check out all of these paradox rift pokemon cards from a single tin bro i think this tin was like five dollars and i pulled the most ultra rares ever in a paradox quote unquote paradox rift opening you feel me so here we go here we go guys let's put that towards the side and let's go ahead and crack into the real tin this is paldean fates now that i think about it i should have bought paradox rift you feel me just to compare it more accurately but it's all good it's all good guys it's all good because we might get a charizard another Mew, a gardevoir i don't know bro i don't know here is that little card of the pokedex entry i was talking about we got a sticker we got our two packs right here ladies and gentlemen and that's all she wrote you feel me that's all she wrote so here we go here we go the only way the tin or this real tin can lose is if we get no bangers in our packs then at that point i had more fun opening up the paradox rift bro if i'm being honest here we go energy who cares about the energy bro who cares about the energy it's just an energy here we go we got the students hopefully i don't get the full art students bro watch me pull it now that i because i said that i just jinxed myself we got camera up scrafty Swoobat, Mankey, and we got the Toad Screw EX. Obviously, not a hit you want from Paldean Fates, but I believe the real tin has officially won. Maybe, maybe. We'll put that as a maybe because look at it, bro. It's just a Toad Screw, my guy. It's just a Toad Screw. Here we go. Final pack, y'all. Final pack. What's inside? What's inside? Here we go. We got ourselves. A code card. I was about to say energy. Fire energy. There might be a fire pool. There might be a Charizard, bro. There might be a Charizard. We got Lapras. Wow, that art is actually really nice. I'm not going to lie. We got Scraggy. Pull your pants up, Scraggy. Stop sagging, my guy. We got a Gengar. Wiglet, baby shiny, bro. Look at that. That is a very strange, <laughs> strange Pokemon, bro. I'm not gonna lie. The design is just 
hilarious. Let's leave it at that, bro. The design is hilarious. If you know, you know. That's all I'm gonna say. We got a shiny wiglet right there, bro. Do we have a double banger? No. No double banger, but we did get an evolution line right there. That's actually kind of fire, but we got ourselves the wiglet baby shiny, everybody. It's actually a nice looking shiny. The colors, the blue with the orange, it actually works. You feel me? But we got a hit in every pack from our tin, so y'all know what that means, bro. The real tin is the winner because of the wiglet. If we didn't pull the wiglet, Toad Scroll cannot carry by himself, bro. I'm gonna be honest. Toad Scroll cannot carry, my guy. So we pulled two hits, and on top of that, we pulled almost every single ultra rare from Paradox Rift. But guys, the moral of today's episode is if you see a weird looking tin like this, bro, Stay away from it. Unless you just want to open it for fun, don't pay more than a couple dollars, you feel me? Because this right here is absolutely not real, my guy. Not even the tin. The tin isn't even real, bro. But it's good for storage. Storing a little bit of cards, that is. But with that being said, guys, I hope you enjoyed today's episode. And let me know if your guess was correct. Because the real tin did win. Like I said, bro, if we didn't pull the wiglet, the fake tin was going to be the winner. But guys, with that being said... I'm going to go ahead and end the video right here, and I'll catch y'all in the next one. Peace.